What up, guys? What up, YouTube? Hey, guys. Um, so I just got the fridge, the little mini fridge in from Amazon. I've been posting all over all these other social media sites. You know, I got like a whole bunch of stuff that... Oh, dude, I just wanted to see a whole bunch of stuff right now. And I was like, where should I post? And I'm over, and I'm starting to overthink this shit, you know? I'm just starting to overthink it. I just got to just listen to Gary Vee. You know what I mean? Just pay attention and listen. I'm overthinking it. Because I want to be like, I want to grow, I want to grow. And it's patience, man. It's patience. Like, for example, the TikTok. I was, I was holding steady for a, a while. And, I, you know, I listened to some people on, on TikTok and changed up my bio. Started doing different kind of videos. And I got a couple more followers. But again, there I go with the follower thing. But what that tells me too, now, now I just thought of that, it tells me that just just be yourself. And, uh, you know, I heard somebody else say, just be yourself and your tribe will find you. So I guess that's really it, guys. I guess that's what I'm learning as I'm going through this process of, you know, 40, I'm 48 years old. My life's been a fucking wreck. Fuck done some fucked up shit, you know, a couple years ago, got over porn addiction, I was always looking at that shit, it doesn't do anything for your life, and, um, you know, just been through a lot of stuff, and, and that gluten, that gluten fucked my life up, my whole fucking life, but I'm gonna have to make a whole nother video on that shit. Not to mention the parents and you know the bad. You know I'm not here to fucking talk about my bad childhood. Or see, it's not, it wasn't. Even, I shouldn't be talking about that shit. That's who the fuck cares? You know, everybody goes through shit. Everybody, everybody. That's what I learned. That's what I'm learning. Everybody, everybody. You there? You've gone through some shit too. You might just not even know it yet. But uh. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna start doing that shit. You know, just keep paying, just learning. I'm just learning and learning, and learning. You know, so that's kind of cool that I'm learning. Also, another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing some tags for YouTube videos so my videos get more hits. Again, Gary V teaches this too, so it's about getting noticed, right? You gotta get you gotta get people to notice you before you can do stuff. That's it. Or as they say, become a mayor or whatever it is. You gotta get people to notice you. So I'm just gonna keep on just steady, slow and steady wins the race. Nice and steady. Just keep doing me. Keep doing my authentic self. And keep documenting my process. If you guys, if you guys made it this far, ask me any questions. Man, you guys want to know something about me? As I drop the phone, ask me a question or don't. But uh. Yeah, that's it, man. You know, I'm 48 years old. I had an idea 30 months ago. Could my, Cause I was like, "What the fuck am I gonna do with my life?" I'm fucking like, I don't even know how the fuck old I was. This three years ago, I was 45. I'm 45, and I was like, "What the fuck is gonna happen with my life? What am I gonna fucking do?" And uh, I put my, you know, I was watching Shark Tank, and I had helped this lady with this pro idea. She's like, man, that sounds like an idea. And I never did anything about it. So I want to try and make a product. And that's kind of what started all this. You know, I quit my job. I said, I'm going to work on this. Then I started working on that. And from working on that idea, I uh, tried to file, I filed a provisional patent on that too. Worked on a patent on that. I went to Polsky Center from that from that idea it got me to Polsky Center and at Polsky Center I ran across Rostandi Center uh, Center for Social Entrepreneurship and from there then I met mentors and told them about my other idea you know I told the Rostandi guys my idea about the the Beyond Food Market concept about bringing food into underserved communities right and they're like and they're like that's cool it's pretty dope and so that's kind of where we gained traction I started just hitting more people up on on um, Polsky because if you remember there you got to have a lot of mentors so I'm with a lot of great mentors. Every mentor had something great to say. 
every mentor, like I think it's true with anybody that is kind of like in the industry or just has been in that environment, they just know a little bit more than you do. <laughs> so, so <laughs> you know, learning that. Like, dude, I've been thinking about this. I think I'm just one, I'm, like, no, like, no cap. I just think I'm just a dumb motherfucker. Like, I'm serious. Like, when I think about shit, I'm like, I'm like, damn, Jose, I don't know that. I'm like, I don't know that. I'm, like, I don't know a lot of shit. <laughs> but the only thing I got is an idea. I mean, that's the reality of it. Like, not fucking smart. Never really a good manager. You know, I was managing for years, but I, I guess I, I don't think I was that good. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what the fuck, bro? So, like, that's why I'm kind of like, like, man, can I really make this motherfucking thing happen? Can I fucking bring food into Inglewood, into underserved communities of Chicago? Maybe, perhaps, like, honestly, dude, like, I want to do the whole food desert. Like, I want to just be like, man, I want this, like, the whole concept, I want this fucking vending box to be stackable. Like, you, I think you might have seen, like, some other images. If not, maybe I'll put them, uh, maybe I'll put them right here. But, um, like, I want to be, like, 7-Eleven. Like, I want to be the 7-Eleven. Like, I want to have 7-Elevens in the neighborhood. Like, in Inglewood, there's, like, 2,300 empty lots, bro. So in all these bad neighborhoods throughout America, they got empty lots, bro. They got empty lots. So I just put fucking uh, shipping containers. Throw one up there. That was the whole concept. Shipping container store inside. Vending machines. All nice and shiny. Steel. And wood. Bamboo. Plant-based stuff. You know. Eco-friendly. Uh, solar panels. Water conservation. Herbs and spices growing outside. You know. That was the whole vision. I mean, that still is the vision. Like, I want it to be, like, like, like almost like a mini, like a Beyond Food Market meets Holistic, meets 7-Eleven, meets, uh, meets, um, meets, uh, a 7-Eleven. Yeah, that's it. And it goes into an underserved neighborhood, to a poor neighborhood. That's no concept. So we're going to stick around, man. We're going to just keep on trying. You know what I mean? we got to make this motherfucker work. We got a little dog over here. So, that's it, man. I just want to be like the 7-Eleven, all this, like, inside the black neighborhoods and minority neighborhoods, Mexican neighborhoods, around neighborhoods. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Also, what I learned, too, is rural areas. So, gotta hit the rural areas, too, you know? It's, and it's, you know, I mean, like I said, I'm not that smart, right? But I kind of been thinking, I'm like, well, like, like, <laughs> like, this is my idea. So let me explain to you how I see it <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. So I kind of see it where, like, I don't think there's a, a problem with delivery. Because, like, if you look here, like, look at this. You got a, a corner store and gas station and they got food in there. It got delivered there. It got delivered there, right? And I'm like thinking, okay, so they can deliver it. So we can deliver it to this neighborhood. There ain't no problem delivering to the neighborhood, right? And I'm like, okay, so what if we just deliver like fruits and vegetables in there? And I'm like, what if we only sell fruits and vegetables in there? And I'm like, what if we only sell plant-based products in there? And then I'm like, what if we only sell plant-based products and top eight allergy-free products? In underserved communities, right? 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 That's what I'm thinking. So that's it, that's Beyond Food Market. We wanna be that. We wanna be plant-based, top eight allergy-free in this neighborhood, and why? Because of me. I was fat, had a food intolerance, gluten intolerance, fucked up my whole life. Dairy intolerance, I always just messed me up. And I'm like, you know what, Jose? There's a lot of people that don't know that they're sick, just like me. 
It took me, I was 38 years old. For 38 years, I lived in sickness. And you're like, Jose, why don't you see any doctors? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> see, when I was a kid, I probably seen at least 10 doctors. Two fucking witch doctors also in Mexico. So when I came to the States, I saw more doctors. Took my tonsils out, said I had asthma. I'm gonna find out for some reason. I don't know what the fuck, dude. I don't know what the fuck was going on. I'll check out the dude right here. Haha, <laughs> that was dope. So I don't know what the fuck was going on, bro. But it, it was, it fucked my whole life up. So because of that, I'm like, man, there's somebody in these poor neighborhoods that don't know about it, just like me. And they're tired every day. And their knees hurt. And they're, and they got foul odor coming out of their mouth. And their tongue's all yellow. And they're always tired and sick. Always gassy and bloated and inflamed. And can't think right and can't read and do math calculations, simple stuff like that. I know that. It's out there just like me. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with me? I feel you, bro. That's what I'm here for. I'm trying, I'm trying to come help you right now, bro. I'm trying to come help you. I'm going to come help you, bro. I'm my mama. I'm going to come help y'all.